Hello again. In the video that introduced Cross Court Rabbit Complete Tennis, I promised that technical instruction would not be the only thing I bring to you. And with this video, I begin to make good on that promise. I'm going to start by asking you a question, the answer to which you should know instantly, truly instantly, without even thinking about it. Ready? Here it is. If there are 1,024 players in a tennis tournament, and the tournament uses a normal draw just like you see at the U.S. Open or at any other pro tournament or in your club or park tournament, how many matches must be played from beginning to end to winnow the field down to the single champion? That's to say, what is the total number of matches that will be played in the tournament? Okay, what's the answer? You should know it right now. But, and no offense intended here, you probably don't. Most people can't answer this question. Even people who have been playing for a long time. Even people who have played many tournaments. For reasons that I will make evident, the people who are most likely to know the answer instantly are tournament directors. The answer is 1,023. In a single elimination tournament with 1,024 players, it will take 1,023 matches to determine the winner. Similarly, and more familiarly, in a tournament such as the Grand Slam singles tournaments with draws of 128 players, it takes 127 matches to know who gets the money, the trophy, and the fame. Perhaps you see the pattern. The number of matches is always, always, one fewer than the number of players. Surprised? Don't believe me? Okay, I'll prove it, logically. The key is that these are single elimination tournaments. Every match eliminates one player until in the end there is one player who hasn't been eliminated. Therefore, ergo, consequently, by sheer force of logic, the number of matches is one fewer than the number of players. And if it does not take 1,023 matches to play a 1,024 player tournament down to one undefeated champion, that is to say, if it takes fewer than 1,023 matches or more than 1,023 matches, well, something is fundamentally wrong in the universe. You can always tell the number of matches that will be played in the tournament and know it instantly once you know the number of players. There is, of course, another way to confirm this. Just consider a tournament with only four players. Such a tournament starts in the semifinals. There are two semifinals matches and one finals match. Three matches, one fewer than the number of players. Or add one player for a total of five contestants. This necessitates one more match to determine who fills the fourth semifinal slot. One more match for a total of four matches in what is now a five-player field. Finally, think of an eight-player field, a tournament that will begin in the quarterfinals. There will be four matches in the quarters, two in the semis, and one in the finals. 4 plus 2 plus 1, 7 matches to play an 8-player tournament. Still don't believe me? Well, there's nothing more I can say, say. But, you may yet ask, Coach Dave, that's a nice little mathematical truism, but who cares? What is the practical value of this little tidbit of tennis knowledge? Well, actually, it has a good deal of practical value if you are a tournament director. Tournament directors have to buy cans of tennis balls for the players. 
At the club or recreational level, they may only supply one can per match, in which case the number of players in the tournament will tell the director precisely how many cans he or she will need for the tournament. And if the tournament supplies a second can for matches that go to a third set, the director, knowing the total number of matches to be played, will at least have some general idea of approximately how many cans must be bought. More importantly, perhaps, the director, knowing how many matches will be played, can better schedule the use of court time for the tournament. So you see, there is some practical value to all this. But the real value probably lies here. The next time you're sitting around with your tennis buddies shooting the breeze, casually ask them how many matches it takes to play out one of the 128 player singles draws at the majors. Tell them they have to answer instantly. Take a few seconds to hound them while they hem, haw, and think, then explain it to them. And, oh yes, there will always be someone who, in spite of the fact that the logic is irrefutable, doubts the answer. Don't let that person bother you. Have fun with this one, and I'll see you next time.